Oh, happy day, my beauties. Start in Tadasana. Raise your arms above your head and give yourself a nice big curve to the right and a curve to the left. We are in the beautiful, sunny, tropical Cancun, Mexico today. Bringing your hands into Anjali Mudra. Take a nice, deep breath. When you're ready, sweep your arms above your head. Start to bend your knees. And then bring your hands back to the heart and repeat that movement until you reach Utkatasana. And then begin slowly diving forward, swan dive. When you're ready, meet your hands to the earth. Step back and raise your left leg. Three-legged downward dog. And then bring it all the way through between your hands into low lunge. A variation may be dropping your knee to the floor. And then pull that leg right back above your head one more time. When you're ready, switch sides. Oh, isn't this water amazing? Step through the opposite leg between the hands. Look up. Again, maybe you want to drop your leg. Sorry, I got a little sidetracked with that gentleman walking behind us. Let me switch around here. Moving back through downward facing dog. Focusing on the exhale, squeezing the stomach muscles together and lowering the hips, lifting up into high cobra or upward facing dog, depending if your legs are touching or not. And then back through plank. Stepping through with the left leg and opening up into warrior two. Variation. Lots of activity on this beach. And raising that right arm up above your head. And then reverse. Crescent pose. Bringing the hands back to frame the front leg and then moving all the way back into upward facing dog. And then back through downward facing dog. Raising the other leg, bringing that knee all the way through. Cartwheeling the arms up, warrior two. You know how to do it. Frame that back foot to the edge of your mat. Drop that left hand towards the left leg. Bring the right arm up over. And then a deep side angle lunge, bringing that left arm back up above the head. Cartwheeling the hands both back. And now you may be facing opposite way. Begin to twist and open up. Variation of triangle pose and switching sides. Really getting a nice stretch in the side body. And then moving back through to downward facing dog again. Step the left leg up through to pigeon, left knee, left wrist, right wrist, left ankle. I'm desperately trying not to let my leg touch the sand because of course the sand is gonna stick to my sweaty body. It is probably 90 degrees already this morning, and I think it's about mm, 7.20 a.m. Reaching the arms above the head, still in pigeon pose, reach up with the arms. Maybe you want to bend that neck back and create a nice crescent pigeon. And when you're ready, lifting up out of that, back through downward facing dog. Holding here for a few breaths. Lifting up onto the toes and raising that left leg one more time. And stacking left hip on top of right. Opening up, looking through the left side body. Maybe you wanna twist that ankle up there, loosen it up, pedal the feet, drop that leg and then raise the opposite. Right leg, three-legged dog, stack right hip on top of left. Circle out the ankle on top. 
like I said, lots of visitors. <laughs> when you're ready, drop that leg over and work yourself into wild thing. I couldn't ask for a more beautiful location to teach yoga, but I will tell you the sand was pretty challenging, to be honest. I think just because I was sweating. Switching sides, wild thing opposite. <laughs> I have to giggle because I didn't realize how many people were walking by. When you're ready, bring your left leg up, cartwheel your body back up into a variation of warrior two. Bringing your hands and arms into gay pose, opening up, heart lifted. I told you that sand was challenging. <laughs> Spread the arms back out. Bring both arms to the front. Twist that back leg so the foot is facing forward. Be gentle, take your time. Raise your arms above your head. And then begin to balance on the left leg. Warrior three. When you're ready, go ahead and lower your hands down and begin to shift your right hip perpendicular to the earth and then cartwheel yourself back up. Switching sides, left leg moves in front, finding that steady balance in the warrior two or high lunge pose. Raising the arms above the head one more time, opening up into work or your two, gate pose, arms, lifting the heart, noticing the depth of the breath as you hold the positions. Bring your arms back towards the front, adjust both legs, feet both facing forward, reach back, crescent lunge, and then begin to teeter onto the right leg, warrior three. so ready at about this moment to go dive in that water but I won't first I'll drop my right arm and open up into half moon pose my bottom hand should be a little closer to my body as I'm visualizing this but we do the best we can on sand and on earth lowering now into horse pose, bringing the hands into Anjali Mudra, thumbs towards the heart. Find a nice sturdy balance, pull up on the pelvic floor, and then place both hands on your knees and start to lower one shoulder at a time. Synchronizing the breath with the movement. And then lowering down into a Buddha squat, if that feels comfortable. When you're ready, it's time for Shavasana. You have earned it. Thank you for being here today. Enjoy this beautiful ocean sounds as you rest. Take care of yourself.